welcome to the Naughty Fisherman. Um, this one, we're going to be doing a real review on the Fisifun Carbon X2 1000 series. I hope to God I'm saying that name right. If you guys want to correct me, that's the name right there. Um, you guys can pronounce it or tell me how to pronounce it. I'd appreciate it. Anyways, um, this reel is probably my favorite ultralight reel at the moment. Um, it's five and a half ounces, so it's super light. It's the lightest weight one I currently own. Um, price is not that bad either, but we'll get into that in a bit. It does have a 22 pound max dra uh, drag capacity. So if you're looking for ultralight, but like, targeting larger fish, this might be a good choice for you. Um, it does have a 10 one shielded bearing system. So what that means is as you guys can see, I can get it to, hold on, let me try and get this thing to pop up. All right, there it is. So as you guys can see, it's a 10 to one ball bearing system. Um, this thing is super uh, smooth in operation. I like guess just like this, it'll just keep going. Like all I have to do is give it one good strong pull and it'll just keep going. It does have a carbon fiber body. I know I've seen a lot of them out there that have like the aircraft aluminum is what they say they're crafted from. This one is crafted from carbon fiber. Um, like I said, super lightweight, super tough. I mean, I think I've already dropped this thing five or six times trying to grab my other line. And I honestly don't see that many marks on it. I'm sure there are some here somewhere, but still. It does have a 5.2 to one return ratio. So we're getting like 25 and a half inches of re line return every time you do a full rotation on your handle. Another thing I like about this, especially with the handle, is I think it's a neoprene foam handle. I think that's what this is. I don't know for sure. All I know is it's slightly soft and definitely nice in the hand. The other thing about this is it does um, come with a textured inner reel or inner spool, I guess. I don't know how you want to describe that. Basically, on the inside of the reel, where it would normally be smooth or just have lines across, this part is smooth, this part is smooth. The entire middle here is textured. So instead of being smooth and slippery, it does have a, a raised bump texture all the way around. Um, the way they describe it on their website is it's supposed to help you with gripping the braid so you don't need to put a mono or floral backer on it or a tape backer. I'm not sure how you guys do that. Never done that, probably should. Anyways, that is one of the functions it's does advertise that it's ready to go out of the box for braid doesn't need a backer doesn't need anything the other thing i like about this is you guys can see um it does have a hundred yard capacity for six pound this is definitely more aiming toward braid as you guys can see there a 10 pound braid 110 yards so while it doesn't have a lot of line capacity on it um for me for what i do with it this thing is perfect. Um, I only need about 100 yards-ish, maybe less than that for jigging because I'm only casting out about 20 feet, 20 feet out, 20, 30 feet out. So this is a great little jigging rod um, or jigging reel, sorry, which is what I use it for. Um, it's currently attached to my jigging rod only rod, which is very lightweight, which needed a, something to match it with. The other thing I love about this um, is for with all these features, it's only about 70 bucks. So it is super lightweight, super tough, works beautifully, works very smoothly. And it comes in under $80 when you buy it, like tax, shipping, all that. Um, I did get it off Amazon. So I don't, if you guys are interested in this at all, go ahead and check it out on there. It, once again, it's a Pistafun Carbon X2 1000 series. Great little reel. But yeah, love this thing. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Love to hear from you. Love to learn from you. Beyond that, tight knots and tight lines, guys. Till next time.